Right, so today uh, we've got a very lonely dinosaur in our tray. He's looking a bit sorry for himself. He hasn't got a lot to do and it's not much fun in there. So we're going to make it a little bit more fun for him. We're going to create um, a dinosaur swamp sensory tray today. So if you want to have a little look around at the kind of things that you might need, this is going to be a bit of a, a swampy one, a messy one. So um, we've got some soil over here. Literally, you can see what I've done. I've got some old um, plant pots that I haven't planted up yet for this year and I've got some old um, compost in there. So there's a couple of those. Um, obviously, we've got some dinosaurs down here as well. Hopefully, you might have some plastic dinosaurs at home that might live in your swamp. We happen to have um, some rocks that we've painted. I use these quite a lot at work, so um, that's why I have these. But any sort of pebbles that might work as dinosaur eggs, We've got these nice brightly coloured ones, but any sort of just plain rocks or pebbles might work. Um, we've got some different sized dinosaurs. So we've got some little dinky tiny ones in there. We've got some larger ones and we've got these as well, which we just ordered online. I use them quite a lot, again, looking at dinosaur bones and skeletons, but they might be quite nice to hide um, in our tray as well. And then moving around this way for so sort of our natural things that we're going to be putting in. So um, we're going to make it as sensory as possible. So we've got some herbs. These are just bits that I've literally just picked from the garden. So I've got some sage, some rosemary and some bay that was um, that I've got growing in the garden. Um, just so you get that kind of smell as well as um, the feel of things. We've got some sticks and things that we've had from this morning. Um, these I've just literally pulled out the garden. This is a weed that I've pulled out the garden, but it comes complete with its root ball as well so um, as we're collecting things for our tray we might like to have a look um, look at what we're finding so it would be quite interesting to perhaps have a look at the root system on the plants if we're pulling them up obviously don't pull up plants from a flower bed our um, our garden is very rustic shall we say we don't have a very formal garden so there's plenty of weeds for us to pull up and look at um, we've got some big stones that I found in the garden as well. We've got some other plants. We've got loads, mountains of this heather. So um, we've collected that and just broken some pieces off. As you can see, I've chosen um, lots of different shades of green down here, some with flowers on, some without. So make sure you're having a look at things as you choose them for your tray, because um, that's part of our um, activity that we're doing here. And then down this side, we've got lots of stones and rocks and shells. So obviously you might not have all of these things in your garden, but you probably will have some gravel and a few stones and you might have some shelves that you've collected on holiday. Um, but be creative. Anything that you've got around the house that you think your dinosaurs might like to play with is absolutely fine. Um, so uh, yeah, just make it as interesting as you can really. So shall we make a start? Yeah, are you ready Molly? So should we take our dinosaur out to start with? Okay. Yeah. Jimmy can go there. Jimmy? Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. Jimmy the dinosaur. Uh, so we're going to start off then. Um, yeah, I might just put our sand in there. Now I'm not going to mix this in. You could if you wanted to, but I want to use the sand for other things. So I'm going to try and keep it separate if at all possible. Yeah, I know she's looking at me because she knows that isn't going to be how it stays, but never mind. Um, so we'll put our sand, um, our little beachy area in there. And then we're going to fill the rest of the tray with some compost and mollies. I'll tip it. Yeah. Shall we see? Now we might even find some little creepy crawlies in here. Which would be good, wouldn't it? I saw a wood louse. Was there a wood louse in there? Yeah. There's lots of plant roots and things in there as well. That's it. Oh, it feels so nice. It's a bit damp. That's okay. Yeah. So you put it how you want it. There's some more in the other one. That one's a little bit lumpier and a bit drier, isn't it? But it just yeah. Do you want me to tip it? Yeah. All over? Um, just in this. Just in this bit. Try and crumble it up a bit. Okay. There we go. We've got some more plant roots in there. Look, any creepy crawlies in that one? There was a woodland. Do you want to feel around the back of the beach area? Yeah. Well, there he is. Hello, Bob. <laughs> Come on. Come on, I want to take him out. Okay. So that he doesn't get destroyed by the dinosaurs. 
Oh, there's two. It's Jimmy and Bob. <laughs> Eat dog <dogs> separately. <laughs> we'll take him out, shall we? Do you want to put him on the grass as well? There we go. I don't know why one would lice them out. They can't be, can they? Okay, so that's our base done then. All right. Now, every good dinosaur swamp needs a volcano, doesn't it? Well, I think there's a nest in here. You think so? It's Bobetta. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so, shall we put our, our volcano in? Volcano? Yeah. Volcanoes? Every good swamp needs a volcano, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I see what you mean. Our volcano in there. And then we're going to see if we can build some rocks around it. We can put it in the middle, shall we? Yeah. That's not the middle. No, but in the middle of that area. See if we can put some of these rocks around the edge of it, make it look nice and volcano-like. Can you do it from the other side, Molly? There we go. Why don't we just do it in the corner? Because then we've got the rocks covering it. Oh no, we need another one. Wait, we can do that one. Um, oh yeah. Absolutely loads of rocks in there. Yeah, but they're not as big. Build a bit. Make it look nice and volcano y. Realistic. Is that an adjective? Volcano y. <laughs> it is now. There we go. So we've got our volcano. We're just going to still build a bit. Okay. Should you put some gravel in there as well? Yeah. Yeah. I love making these trays. Like the water tray was really good as well. Yeah. Well, if you haven't seen our water tray, we've got that on our YouTube channel as well, haven't we? So shall we put some more rocks in? So just like when we did our water tray, we're looking at adding a bit of interest, a few layers. Imaginative. Some, yeah. Some areas for our animal to hide. We are travelling back in time, so we don't know what it's like, so it could be as weird and wonderful as you like. This is very true. Talking of which, that was very well timed, Molly. We've got some of these dinosaur skeletons in ours. So, shall we bury them? We might be able to excavate them, mightn't we? What does that mean? What do you think it means? Right. I don't know. If things are buried... Hide them. What, do we, what might None. we need to do to find them? Find them. Yeah. Uncover how them. We, how are we going to find them? Cover them. <laughs> uncover them. Uncover them. I'm going to need to uncover them, aren't we? So we're going to need to dig them up. So we've got a few dinosaur skeletons there. we go. That looks like a volcano now. It does look like a volcano. We could put some orange up. water in there. Wow, well, we orange. could do that, couldn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put some water in. Okay. So we've got our buried we're dinosaurs in there as well. We absolutely can have a pond, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Do that in there. Do you want to have a pond? Should I get there some water? Yeah. Oops. Now, it's all very well, but there's not much for the herbivores to eat, is there? So shall we start to put some plants in? Otherwise, the herbivores are not going to have any food. Why not to use a watering can? There's a little gem in there as well. There That's a very muddy pond. It's a little bit muddy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, don't pop that for me, Mum. That's it. Dinosaurs have to pour in water like we do now. Okay. Right. So, we need some plants then for our herbivores to eat. So, these are literally our herbs that we've got out of the garden. So, we've got some sage and we've got some a uh, little bit of bay there off our bay trees and some rosemary. So we're literally going to poke these in around our tray. There we go. Oh, that one's gone a bit... needs water in that one. We'll have to put some water in here, aren't we? Smells nice. It really does smell nice. So this is adding a little bit of sensory experience to our tray by using the herbs. Okay. Oh, not oh, instead of cats. That's okay. You can put it in with its roots and then it might grow. Oh. So shall we put that one in? I want this to grow. So water it. In a minute, we're going to put some water in at the end. Okay. And then we've got some of these. So these are like our trees, if you like. 
So we're going to poke these in and around the volcano. It looks really nice. Yeah. Well. yeah. Get in there, isn't it? Mm. Put some around like here. here. You need something here. But surely that would burn. Maybe. Thinking about it. Mm. Be a bit imaginative, Mum. Hope, yeah. Hopefully, our volcano isn't going to erupt too much. There we go. It's an extinct volcano. Yeah. Have you got any more, Molly? Do you want to pass some more plants over? Oh, that's a good Jazzy. one, isn't it? That's a really tall one. Let's see if we can find somewhere to stand up. Mm. Stand up in between the rocks or something, volcano. Yeah, that's We'll have to have nice. long necks to reach that one. Which ones have got long necks to reach that plant? This one. Anyone got a long enough neck to reach that plant? It's the locus. Oh, yeah. perfect height for him. Okay. Any more plants to go in? Oh no. Uh, no, I don't think they're going to go hungry. No, I think they'll be all right now, won't they? It does smell lovely, doesn't it, with all the herbs in there? Okay. Anything else that we need to put in then, do we think? Can we put some eggs? You can put some eggs in if you want to, yeah. Put some dinosaur eggs in. So as you can see, we're just literally building up the layers now. I this is where it's down to the children's choice. A pile of orange ones. What they want to put in their tray. A pile of green ones. Um, I think we can go there. What about blue one in with the green? It's the odd egg. <laughs> Three can go over here. There we go. There we are. Lovely. Okay. So next thing then is, do we want any seashells and things in there? Mm. I've already put a few in. A few? Yeah. Let's put a few, Just a few on the beachy area because don't forget we find lots of fossilized sea creatures, don't we? This looks like a good fossil rock. So the sea, sea creatures, as they fell to the bottom of the ocean and got buried under the sand and then became fossilised, we do find lots of these fossilised sea creatures from dinosaurs. That's sort of a nice volcanic rock that could go in our volcano. We've got some gems as well where the sand's got hot. Oh yeah! Yeah. Oh, oh god, trees are all over. Prehistoric grass. There we are. Okay, are we happy? Yeah. Yeah, so now it's time for our dinosaurs to go in there. Yay! Yeah? First, my favourite one. He's going to enter the biome. There we are. Oh. There we go, one of them. My egg! <laughs> oh. Next one in, Mal. Who's going in next? This one. Jimmy. He needs to be eating the plants, doesn't he? Jimmy one, Jimmy two. Yeah. My eggs. There we are, and then one more. Oh. We've got, we have got lots, but we'll just put one more in Let's for put now. Put green one in. Yeah. Another green one. Oh. Mm. Mm. Can eat that plant. There we go. It doesn't look like a plant eater to me. That one. It's got rather sharp teeth. It doesn't matter, does it? Well, yeah, yeah but that's okay. Do you want to pass me the, the log? We'll put a big log in there as yeah. well, I think. So we could give our dinosaurs some challenges. So we could hide the, the um, smaller dinosaurs from the larger dinosaurs. We could do some sorting. We could um, hide the herbivores from the carnivores. We could see if they can get from one side to the other without being eaten. We could look for hiding places. There's lots and lots of things we can do with our tray. Now, I did say this was going to be a dinosaur swamp. It's a bit dry for a swamp, isn't it? Yeah. So, in true muddy fashion, <gasps> I think it might be time for you to retrieve the watering can. Water it up a bit. Okay, I think I might just take charge of the water. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, you can come and help me. I'll so, tell you where to put it. Shall we put, we'll put it Everywhere. On the, well, we'll put it on the compost. Oh, there we go. Oh, mix it in. It's getting swampier. Oh, no. And swampier. No, he's going to tip over. 
There we go. Can I mix it in? I'm going to keep it out. I think it will mix itself in. You can try. I'm going to try and keep it out of the sand. Oh, it's really warm. Isn't it? It's a warm swamp. I'm not going to mix it in completely. I'm just there going to go. do a little swill. There we are. Is that a bit swampier now? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Can we put some water in so the volcano? You can put some water in the volcano. That's why the trees are alive still. Yeah. And then we've got some little bits of moss as well. To add to our swamp. Oops. That's some And I think we're just about there. A dead tree. So that's our dinosaur tray. Hours and hours of fun to be had from that. You can add more water. Um, we can add some colour to the volcano if we want to. We might even make the volcano erupt if you've got some baking powder and some vinegar. That's always a good one. Yeah. You might want to do that towards the end of your play because the vinegar tends to make the rest of the tray. Um, sometimes smell a bit funky so when you finish playing with your tray you could have a go at making the volcano erupt um, if you wanted to so happy playing with your dinosaurs and please do send us some pictures thank you very much <laughs>